try and inhabit the shoes of an ordinary person who would live with that daily fear and insecurity and and reflect upon what that must feel like and and if if that does not you know if if that sense of in, if you don't feel an a terror an overriding sense of injustice at that that you feel like to the very core of your bones then i don't think you know you're you're a human being if if you believe that human beings should be treated with respect and dignity you must oppose the chinese communist parties and you must oppose the chinese government 二十一岁的澳大利亚昆士兰大学学生帕弗洛多次公开批评中共践踏人权以及中共对昆大的影响。去年七月，香港留学生在昆大举行支持港人反松中活动，遭到中国留学生暴力围攻。帕弗洛当时是活动的组织者。Supporters of the Chinese government was actually to they they responded with violence. They can't tolerate any form of dissent. I suppose. 抗议活动第二天，中共驻布里斯本总领事徐杰。在网站上赞扬中国留学生的暴力行为。同一天，中共《环球时报》发文点名帕夫洛是所谓反华活动组织者。之后，帕夫洛的社交媒体受到充斥着语言暴力的留言，甚至死亡威胁。So when I was labeled as a separatist, it was in some respects, you know, almost a Chinese government fat war against me, sort of encouraging people to attack me, threaten me. In Brisbane, Australia, I, I had hundreds of death threats sent to me.、Um, my social media was in, inundated with these threats. 去年十一月，帕夫洛认为徐杰的行为危及了他和家人的安全，向布里斯班地方法院提起诉讼。I tried to take him to court, seeking a protection order, simply to, simply so that I would be safe in my own home in Brisbane. Consul General Zuge, he's not just a diplomat. He was also appointed by the University of Queensland, my university. One month before this violence, he was promoted. He was he was appointed as an honorary professor by the university. 今年四月，帕夫洛收到昆大对他的指控文件，称他违反学校纪律，将依据有关规定开除他。去年，昆士兰大学的总收入中约三分之一来自国际学生支付的学费，其中百分之五十六来自中国。帕夫洛表示，昆大试图开除他，是对他批评中共和提诉中共官员的报复。It's about me threatening billions of dollars in revenue for the University of Queensland into the future because I am a vocal critic of the Chinese government on campus, and the Chinese government will not tolerate any form of dissent, even in foreign countries on foreign campuses. 五月二十九日，昆大纪律小组没有给出任何理由，对帕夫洛作出勒令停学两年的裁决。六月十一日，帕夫洛向昆州最高法院提出诉讼，以诽谤和违约等罪起诉该校校长和校监，要求赔偿三百五十万澳元。I I just hope like more and more we can fight to uphold freedom of speech and fight to uphold human rights in China internationally everywhere. 大纪元时报遍布全球，不受财团、政党影响，真实感言。不管是想了解国际局势、两岸议题，或者想要寓教于乐、丰富人生。您需要的都在大纪元时报，订报专线零八零零五六六六八八。